with Leslie on Wednesdays. Oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall talk in your praise. You laid the foundation of the earth. And the earth and the world are the work of your hands. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth, to you be praise and glory forever. As your living word, turn from heaven, assume the frailty of the flesh. May the light of your love be born in us to fill our hearts with joy as we sing. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So we're going to say Psalm 111. Um, do you want to just read that for us, Elizabeth? It's quite a short one. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the faithful and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out by all who delight in them. His work is full of majesty and honour. His righteousness endures forever. He, appoint, he appointed a memorial for his marvellous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He gave food to those who feared him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He showed his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are true and just, uh, true, are truth and justice, and all his commands are sure. They stand fast forever and ever. They are done in truth and equity. He sent his redemption to his people. He commanded his covenant forever, and holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Good <coughs> understanding have those who live by it. His praise endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now. Amen. So, uh, lovely uh, song of praise, yeah. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. Um, his work is full of majesty and honor. Um, he's mindful of his covenant. The works of his hands are truth and justice. His commandments stand fast forever. It's a real like affirmation of faith and trust in God, isn't it? Any yeah. thoughts? Hmm? Let's say how he's always try to be there, hasn't he? He's full yeah. of majesty. Yes. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's kind That's of, right. because, I mean, it's like what we were saying yesterday, I think, when we were talking about the king who recognizes that God is king and the king who thinks that he is king. Yeah. Um, and the second king is an unwise, a foolish king, you know? But the wise king is the one who has fear of the Lord, you know, who sees himself under the authority of the Lord, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Good. All right. Let's scroll down. Now, we've got passage from Isaiah. Uh, it's quite a long one. But so, are you feeling up to that, or would you rather I read that? I think you did, please. Okay, yeah. But has got rather nasty cold. She's feeling a bit under the weather. Mm. Right. Join the club. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a cold. <clears throat> You've got a cold, Elizabeth. I have, yes. It's on the mend, I'm hoping now. I've just got the, the remnants, I'm hoping. All right. Of course, you keep worrying it's that funny flu. Of course, mm. yeah. <laughs> See, but I can smell, I can taste. Oh, good, good. See, the Lord's hand is not too short to save nor his ear too dull to hear. Rather, your iniquities have been barriers between you and your God, 
and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear. Your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue mutters wickedness. No one brings suit justly, no one goes to law honestly. They rely on empty pleas, they speak lies, conceiving mischief and begetting iniquity. They hatch adders' eggs and weave the spider's web. Whoever eats their eggs dies and the crushed egg hatches out a viper. Their webs cannot serve as clothing. They cannot cover themselves with what they make. Their works are works of iniquity and deeds of violence are in their hands. Their feet run to evil and they rush to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Desolation and destruction are in their highways. The way of peace they do not know and there is no justice in their paths. Their roads they have made crooked. No one who walks in them knows peace. Therefore justice is far from us and righteousness does not reach us. We wait for light and lo, there is darkness and for brightness, but we walk in gloom. We grope like the blind along a wall, groping like those who have no eyes. We stumble at noon as in the twilight, among the vigorous as though we were dead. We all growl like bears, like doves, we <coughs> move. We wait for justice, but there is none, for salvation, but it is far from us. For our transgressions before you are many, and our sins testify against us. Our transgressions indeed are with us, and we know our iniquities, transgressing and denying the Lord, and turning away from following our God, talking oppression and revolt, conceiving lying words, and uttering them from the heart. Justice is turned back, and righteousness stands at a distance. The truth stumbles in the public square, and uprightness cannot enter. Truth is lacking, and whoever turns from evil is despoiled. Hmm. Mm. There's a lot, quite a lot in there. I, I think at the beginning, um, it talks very well about how sin gets in, in between us and God, right? Really, it's like a barrier. It talks about your iniquities have been barriers between you and your God and your sins have hidden his face from you. I think we, we can't be in relationship with God if we are, you know, not doing his will. Um, I think <clears throat> as that first word, line, I mean, see, the Lord's hand is not too short to say. It's usually us who put the barriers up. It's us who put the barriers up, yeah. Indeed, yeah. Um, and, um, and this prevents us experiencing justice and salvation, yeah. Yeah. And he goes on to talk about all the things that are wrong in the world at that time, yeah. Mm. Um, sadly, seem to be familiar, don't they? <laughs> familiar situations we could think of in our world today, yeah. But, um, yeah. Oh, we don't learn, do we? <laughs> but, you know, it talks about walking in darkness, but as Christians, we believe that <clears throat> Jesus is the light in that darkness, yeah? That's so it right. Kind of, one of the points forward to a coming of the light, yeah? I mean, we can yeah. still choose to walk in darkness, but we can also choose to walk in the light by following Jesus, yeah? Yes. That's what we should be doing. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Walk in the light. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even if today Basola feels more like going back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord is with you Thank as you, you do God. so, watching yeah. over you. Mm. You have to go with the flow when you when you're feeling unwell. Exactly. That was what my yeah. said to You me do, Basola. You've got to kind of just um yeah. Go with it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> rest yourself, yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, Elizabeth, do you want to read that second passage then? John 1, 19 to 28. 
This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the, prof are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. Oh, thank you. It's a great passage. Yeah, I thought it was Elijah. I thought in Michael or somewhere, there's one of those prophets at the, before the New Testament. They said that there would be a second Elijah. Oh yes, yes, yes. I think the um, the um, Jewish people expected Elijah to return before the Messiah. Yeah. To sort of herald the coming of the Messiah. That's why yeah. John the Baptist is perceived to be, or at least people ask, is he Elijah come again? Mm. So some people are saying, ah, oh, this is Elijah, yeah? Yeah. Or they think he's the Messiah. He he had a huge following. Probably a much bigger following than Jesus, yeah. Mm. Uh, so, you know, this is why John I think is at pains to make clear that John recognized himself that he was not the Messiah, yeah. That he had come to herald the coming of the Messiah. And I think, you know, I think it's a lesson also there in so far as our role as disciples is to point to Jesus, not to ourselves. Yeah. There's no great, mm -hmm. you know, however wise we might be and whatever, and however we might be able to help people ourselves, we're pointing to Jesus, who is the source really of all wisdom and salvation, not us. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, and that, that you see, exemplified in John the Baptist, don't you? Um, he's very clear, no, I'm not the Messiah, no, I'm not Elijah, you know? I'm just the voice of one crying in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord, you know? mm. And, um, this Jesus will baptize you with fire, yeah, with the Holy Spirit. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I do love John's gospel, don't you? It's beautiful, um, powerful. All right, uh, let's do our responsory then. The word of life, which was from the beginning. proclaim to you. The darkness is passing away. And the true light is already shining. The word of life, word of life which was from the beginning. That which we heard, which we saw with our eyes, and touched with our hands. We proclaim to you. But our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word, the word of life, which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you. That's a lovely line, isn't it? When the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Yeah. All right, let's pray then. Um, Lord, uh, we thank you that we have the light of Christ to walk in all of our days. Uh, in, in good days and in days that are more challenging. We thank you for Jesus. And we ask that we stay in that marvellous light day by day bringing light to others and pointing to Jesus. I lift you, Lord, Bisola, who's really feeling unwell today, 
Lord, that you give her the opportunity to rest and that she starts to feel better, Lord. Um, just bring her healing in body, mind and spirit. Um, also for Elizabeth getting over her cold and lots of people feeling unwell at this time. Um, remember particularly uh, John Gill, not John Gill, sorry, uh, Phil Evans, who is, um, has a nasty infection and is unwell in hospital. Uh, for Sue Riley, for John Walton. Um, and for all those who are still on their own and feeling a bit cut off and isolated, um, Lord, it's going to be a struggle getting through these coming weeks, perhaps even months. Um, but we're going to come through this, Lord, together, trusting in you um, and, and trusting in, in the love and care of one another, our brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. We have to pause for a moment. Here, this is your mom, Rosemary. Yeah? Hello? Can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to welcome Rosemary's mom. <laughs> Get her back. Uh, oh, there you are, Rosemary. Hello. Hello, Matty. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> happy Christmas. Happy Christmas and happy New Year in advance. Wow. I morning. think I saw I saw your mum briefly. Yeah, she's here. That's where you're. Good morning. Good she's morning. Here. Welcome to our little gathering. Thank so you. Much. It's so lovely to have you. I hope you've been having a very nice time. Oh, what's it going on? Nice. Yes, we'll be yes. having a good time. Good. Can you, sorry, can you see me? No, I can't see you, but uh, I can hear you both. Oh. Don't worry. Can you see me now? I can see you both. Okay. Okay, you see your mom, mom wearing a lovely t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, you are wearing a lovely t shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Welcome. I love Oh, we are. We've been um, we've been praying that you you would be able to come to visit. Thank you. Yes, I thank God problem. for my coming here. Yeah, I appreciate God. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, what a blessing that you two could be together this Christmas. How thank lovely! You. Thank yeah, you. it lifts all our spirits to, to know that. Mm -hmm. I'm so pleased. All right, we're in the middle of praying uh, for one another. Pesola's not well, Elizabeth's got cold too, so praying for them. Uh, yeah. I, I just, uh, Hello, Aunt Pesola. Yeah, I just, I'll just carry on praying and then you can add your prayers, yeah? Okay. Um, so, Lord, we do pray for this, these, this particularly difficult um, time in the pandemic and um that we just have patience and endurance to come through these weeks and lord i particularly raise to you uh doctors nurses everyone working in hospitals who are feeling weary but are carrying on with uh, courageous and 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 life um life-giving work uh in hospitals in in jesus name amen amen, amen. We thank you, Lord, for another beautiful day, cold though it be and frosty. Yeah. At least it's dry and you can go out and enjoy the sunshine and chill of the air. We thank you for that opportunity. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 I thank you, Lord, for giving my mother a safe journey to England. And I thank you, Lord, for people that traveled as well to see loved ones during this festive period. That may you guide and protect them. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, and Lord, we pray for children and families at this time. There's a lot of uncertainty about whether children are going back to school and uh, it must be very difficult for teachers and headmistresses um, and for um, uh, our government making very difficult decisions, Lord. Uh, we ask for wisdom, patience, courage, in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> Uh, I just thank you, Lord, also for our lovely pets. Looking at Elizabeth's uh, lovely cat there. What, what's your cat's name? Molly. Molly. We thank you for Molly, Ginger. Lots of pets <laughs> have pet kept people company during this difficult time. Uh, thank you for all your creatures. We, we hope and pray that this experience over the last year will have helped us all to think more about our environment, and the, and the creatures we share our, our planet with and take greater care of them. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So we pray, almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image and yet more wonderfully restored us through your son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share the life of his divinity who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. So using the traditional version of the Lord's Prayer, rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God, who has called us out of his darkness into his marvellous light, bless us and fill us with peace. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Amen. Amen.